There are four SUVs in the Subaru lineup, or five if you count the all-electric Subaru Solterra. With so many options available to us, it makes it more and more difficult to choose between all of them. In today's video, I'm gonna provide you guys with more clarity on which model is best for you. We're gonna go over pricing, features on each model, the size, and compare all of them so you have a better understanding on what is available in the Subaru SUV lineup. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to share weekly videos all on Subaru related topics. So if you enjoy videos like that, click on the subscribe button down below. And if you guys learn something new and get value out of this video, please remember to click the like button. That helps me out and I would greatly appreciate it. I'll be showing 2023 and 2024 Subaru models in today's video, but a lot of this information will still be applicable to even older years, primarily 2020 and newer. However, if you have an individual question, you're trying to compare something on a previous year or model, leave a comment down below and I'll reply back with something to help you compare what you're looking at. We're gonna start with the Subaru Crosstrek. This is the smallest of our SUV lineup, but before I dive into all the details on this particular model, I wanna share some details on standard equipment that's going to be on all of the SUVs that we're talking about today. Starting out, the all-wheel drive system that Subaru is known for is standard on all of our Subaru SUVs, and it's actually on all of our lineup except for the, the BRZ, which is a two-door sports car. They all have the standard EyeSight system. You'll see cameras up front. Sometimes there's two or even three, depending on the model you look at. And that controls your accident avoidance, your automatic emergency braking system in front of the car, as well as adaptive cruise control. That's standard on all of the Subaru lineup. I believe starting in 2020 and newer, you'll see that on all of the Subarus, even the base trim levels, with the exception of the manual transmissions. You won't see that on manual transmission Subarus. They all have Subarus four-cylinder boxer engine, with some of them even having a turbocharged engine option. I'll get into more of those details later as we move on to the video, but they all have the four-cylinder engine and most of them get pretty good gas mileage. And lastly, they all come standard with 8.7 inches of ground clearance. So despite this being the smallest Subaru SUV, it has the exact same ground clearance as the other standard Subaru SUVs. The Crosstrek and the five-door hatchback Impreza are built on a similar platform. The Crosstrek just sits higher off the ground. So that's why when you look at them, the body, the interior, a lot of it looks very similar. With the Crosstrek, we do have a decent amount of cargo space in the rear. So here's what it looks like with the hatch open. You can fold these seats down completely flat if you need additional room. And that is a signature of all of the Subaru lineup. All the seats fold down to give you additional cargo space when you need it. In the second row, you have seating for three passengers. I'll be honest though, it's probably gonna be most comfortable just for two because this is going to have the least amount of leg room down below and it's not as wide or as tall as some of our other SUVs like the Forester or the Outback. Up front, we have new for 2024, the 11.6 11 inch touchscreen display. If you get a base trim level, it'll have the dual seven inch monitors instead of this larger screen. Either way, it will have standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which allows you to mirror your phone up on the display for navigation, music apps, phone call apps, and more. The entire Subaru lineup now has the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but some of them require you to plug in to connect to that, and some of them are wireless. This one in particular on the 2024 Crosstrek has wireless connectivity for the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The base and premium trim level Crosstreks come standard with the two liter four cylinder engine with 152 horsepower. If you move on up in trim level to the Sport, Limited, and now the Wilderness, they come standard with the 2.5 liter engine that gets 182 horsepower. Despite this being Subaru's smallest SUV, you can get a trailer hitch on the back to haul up to 1,500 pounds for the standard Crosstrek, or if you bump up to the Wilderness, that one has 3,500 pounds of towing. The Crosstrek is rated for 29 miles per gallon, and it has a starting MSRP with destination and delivery of $26,290. Next in the lineup is the Subaru Forester. Now visually, you can already tell the size difference between the Forester and the Crosstrek. We're gonna talk about some more of the differences here in just a moment, but let's first talk about some similarities. This comes standard with the 2.5 liter engine, no matter which one you go with, even if you go with the new 
Forester Wilderness trim, it still has the 2.5 liter engine. And despite it being larger, it still has the same rating of 29 miles per gallon average. And a lot of people look at these two models and think, okay, well, the Forester has the taller windows. It's, it's a taller vehicle, and that's not the case. It has 8.7 inches of ground clearance, as I mentioned before, the exact same. So looks can certainly be deceiving. Now, where are some differences between these two models and why do some people go with the Forester over the Crosstrek? Starting with the windows, these windows are very large because you have a taller roof. And because of that, it has some of the best outward visibility. If you look at the rear here, also looking over your shoulder for your blind spot, you'll see that the rear windows are larger. And if you compare that to the Crosstrek, this has much smaller rear windows. The tow rating on the standard Forester is also identical to the Crosstrek, both at 1,500 pounds for the standard tow rating. Now, if you bump up to the Forester Wilderness, you get only 3,000 pounds compared to the 3,500 pounds on the Crosstrek Wilderness. I don't know why it's more on the smaller Crosstrek, but that's what the tow rating is. The Forester also has more optional equipment. For example, this one has the power lift gate. That is not standard, it's an optional package. The Crosstrek, no matter what trim level you go with, does not have the optional power lift gate. And in the rear cargo area, you can tell this is significantly larger, has a lot more space, a lot more room than the Crosstrek. The seats do fold down all the way, like I mentioned before. And that is what it looks like with your seat folded down. If you looked at the 2023 Crosstrek and prior, it would look identical to this right here. This is in the 2023 Forester. It is the only Subaru model that has this smaller display now. All of our other Subaru lineup has the larger 11.6 inch touchscreen display, or if it's a base model, has those dual seven inch monitors. So they are doing away with these tactical controls. We don't know yet what they're gonna be doing yet for the 2024 Forester, but as soon as I have details on that, I will be making a video talking about it. So if you are somebody that likes the smaller screen and the tactical controls, you have that still on the 2023 and older Foresters. The starting price on a 2023 Subaru Forester is $27,620 with destination and delivery. The next Subaru SUV we're gonna look at is the Subaru Outback. This is most commonly compared to the Subaru Forester in our lineup, and that is because these are two midsize SUVs that both have a lot of the same features and offerings. Visually, you can tell that the roof is lower on this one and it's longer. It's about nine inches longer. The roof is taller on that one and the windows are taller and the back is a little bit shorter. So you do have a little bit more cargo space in the rear because of that. This also has that wagon-esque vibe to it and the Forester has just your regular, your midsize SUV or, or like RAV4 style to it. On top, the Outback is the only one that comes standard with these integrated crossbars. There's a quick release lever right there and it allows you to slide this across the top. There's one over there that slides over here and in place so you can use that when you need to put something on top. Compare that to the Forester and all of our other Subarus. If they have these static roof rails, you have to buy the crossbar separate to get to that. While the Outback is not the only Subaru with the power lift gate option, it is the only one that has a hands-free sensor in the Star Cluster logo. This is incredibly useful if you're carrying, say, a box of items or a set of golf clubs and your hands are full, you can't get the key out of your pocket easily. You just simply walk up to the door, put your arm up to the side here, you hear the beep and walk away, the hatch will open. If you know your Outback has the optional power lift gate and you tried that and it still didn't work, make sure you go up to the front of the car. On the left hand side of the dash, there's a button with a hatch icon on it. Press that in, make sure that that is not pressed in because if it is, that sensor is off. We'll go ahead and pop open the hatch on this one to show you how that compares to the other models we've looked at so far. So here is the cargo area. Unique to the Outback on all trim levels, even the base, are these quick release levers. These are one of my favorite things to do and show people on these cars so they fold down completely flat. Let's see if we can get this out of the way so you can see 
what that looks like truly. These quick release levers are on the Forester, but you have to move up to the Wilderness, the Limited, or the Touring to get them. And if you want to remove this cargo cover, the cargo cover comes out of all of the Subaru SUVs and can be stored nice and neat down below your floor. However, not all of them have a storage space. The Crosstrek does not have a storage space for your cargo cover. The Outback, the Forester, and the Ascent do. On the back of some Subarus, you may notice a badge that says XT. That means it has a turbo engine. So optional in the Outback is a 2.4 liter turbo engine with 260 horsepower. Compare that to the standard engine, the 2.5 liter that comes on the Forester as well, you have 182 horsepower. You also have 2,700 pounds of towing with that 2.5 liter engine compared to the turbo engine, you get 3,500 pounds of towing. So if you are looking for a little bit more towing capabilities, you can get that turbo engine and have that. The fuel economy for the 2.5 liter Outback is 29 miles per gallon average compared to the turbo, which is 26 miles per gallon average. On the inside, the Outback has this 11.6 inch display that now it appears all the Subaru models are moving over to. The 2020 Outback was the first to get this new display. And for 2023, the Outback was the first one to have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so it doesn't require you to plug in your cable to connect to that. I should also mention that even though the Outback and the Forester have the exact same ground clearance, where the seats are positioned are different. The seats are positioned slightly lower in the Outback compared to the Forester. You also have a center console that comes up a little bit higher on the Outback compared to the Forester. So this inside makes you feel a little bit more snug than the Forester does. The starting price on a 2024 Subaru Outback is $30,190 with destination and delivery. The last SUV we're gonna talk about today is our only third row SUV, and that is the Subaru Ascent. It comes in a seven or eight passenger configuration, depending on what you're looking for. Recently in 2023, this was redesigned, but they first came out with this car for the 2019 model year. And some things that they changed this year is the new touchscreen display. Previously, it had a display that looked very closely identical to the Subaru Forester, but now has this large 11.6 inch touchscreen display. Like I said, it appears Subaru is moving everything over to the same style touchscreen, whether we like it or not. Just like our other Subaru SUVs, you have a ton of cargo space in the rear. Here's what it looks like with the third row seat down. And here is what it looks like with the second row seats down. The Ascent does have additional storage space down below the floor here. You can take this cargo cover out and use that when the third row is down. And down below, you have your spare tire whenever you get a flat. Under the hood, this comes standard with a 2.4 liter turbo engine, the same engine that is offered in the Outback XT with 260 horsepower. The towing capabilities, however, have increased to 5,000 pounds. So this has the largest tow rating for our Subaru lineup. Because this is the largest Subaru SUV, it does have the lowest fuel rating at 21 miles per gallon average. So it is less fuel efficient than our other Subaru SUV options, however, this might be a necessity if you need the larger SUV with third row capacity. This is the only Subaru SUV that has an optional 360 view camera other than the new electric Subaru Solterra. And to activate it, you click this view button down here. You can see a bird's eye view, how close you are to the lane, the lines in a parking space or cars next to you. There's multiple views you can see here and something I think really helps with parking one of our larger SUVs. You also have something that's exclusive to the Ascent Touring and the Outback Touring, and that is a smart rear view mirror. So right now, say you're driving along, you're going down the highway, you're, you're traveling on vacation, you have luggage and children in the back and you can't see out of your back window. Well, there is a camera embedded in the rear antenna and when you flip this up, you can see out of your rear window with that. With this having third row seating, you wanna make sure that all of your passengers are comfortable. And you can do that with your tri-zone climate control right here by the touch of a button on the touchscreen. You can adjust this here. Your second row passengers can control this as well with the controls by the armrest. But if you want to keep them from fooling with it, you can click the lock button there and keep that locked. And lastly, a unique feature only on the Ascent is something called Cabin Connect. When you turn this on, it projects your voice so you can more easily communicate with your third row seating, especially if you have a loud car. 
The starting price on a 2023 Subaru Ascent is $35,120 with destination and delivery. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the comparison I've made between all of our Subaru SUV lineup. If you did enjoy this video and you got value out of it, please be sure to remember to click the like button. If you guys have questions, as always, leave those down in the comment section below. Hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one.